Welcome back on this Monday morning. While the rain is tapering off a little bit over parts of downtown Marquette, we still have some sprinkles and some light rain there ongoing. 53 degrees there with a northeast wind of 13 miles per hour. We did have rain this past weekend. Not a whole lot in the way of a lot of accumulating amounts, but most places around a quarter of an inch. Some spots a little bit higher along the south and two and along the Wisconsin state line. So for rainfall so month so far for the month of August, we're at about 1.5 inches of rain. And so far, typically we're supposed to be around half of an inch of rain. So we're a little over uh, the rainfall amount so far for the month of August, but not too bad as considering we had some drought conditions in parts of the UP. Additional rainfall amounts for today with that band that's sweeping through the area should generally be around half of an inch of rain, but some isolated locations could end up with about an inch of rain or a little bit more, mainly in the south. That's where the heavy rain is located at. So there's that band sweeping on through. We have an area of low pressure that's moving through Wisconsin right now, and that's riding along the stalled front that's just south of our area. So we're getting this impulse of moisture into the region, and at this moment seeing moderate to heavy rain along the Wisconsin state line, right through parts of Dickinson and western Menominee counties. We'll zoom in here so you can see where that's really located at. So just west of Escanaba, that's where we're seeing those hues of orange and red. Spalding getting a downpour of rain there right now. And this is along US 2. This will continue to track east through parts of Escanaba, Brampton, Rapid River, on east through parts of Manistique throughout the morning hours. There's the hour by hour. Here's 11 o'clock in the morning as this should be east of the area by late morning. Clouds will decrease throughout the day. High pressure moves in for the next couple of days and that means sunny skies and dry conditions for the bulk of this week. Temperatures today, mid to upper 60s in the western counties of the UP. You'll find the lowest temperatures today across the north and near Lake Superior. Areas across the far eastern counties could only be reaching upper 50s right along Lake Superior there and towards the mid 60s a little bit farther south near Lake Michigan. Tomorrow, though, temperatures will be a little bit more seasonal. What we will have going on is this little wave of energy moving through the jet stream this morning puts us more in a north and northwest wind flow after that little wave of energy moves through. So this will be the pattern for the bulk of this week. So what that means is temperatures will remain rather seasonal for us for pretty much the rest of this week. Tomorrow we're looking at temperatures to mainly be in the upper 70s. And then areas across the west will likely be reaching the low 80s. We could have a few mid 80s also in some of those locations with some of that sunshine that'll be in place for us. The bulk of this week though looks nice. It looks like we'll have a front move through on Wednesday. Could have some isolated showers with that. That's very minimal though. Behind that front we'll have a